Hey everybody, how's it going? Adjust that a bit. Did it again. Picked up a new mill, Ryobi tool. It's the Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus 22 inch cordless hedge trimmer. Don't know. It, it's, I don't know. It was on sale. Been looking at it for a while, talking myself out of buying it, talking myself out of buying it. And I just figured I'd get it. So there you go. Also picked up a couple more batteries on sale. A couple more four amp hour batteries. So there you go. I better keep my receipt here. Hold on. Okay, let's move that over there. Let's set this. I'm doing it here because my workbench is. I'm in the middle of so many projects right now. Well, let's open it up. So rotating handle for trimming at all angles, up to three quarter inch cut capacity, hedge sweep debris remover. Three year warranty, as all Ryobi stuff. Tool only, no, no battery, no charger. It was a hundred bucks Canadian. Instructions. Here we go. It's got a little blade cover you see. It slides on there, protects the edges, cutting edges. It's not too heavy. So here's your. Yeah. You can angle this. See, it's got a button on top to twist it. Locks in at 45, locks in at 90, 45, 90 the other way. So there you go. As like all most Ryobi tools, got the safety button on there, then you can pull the trigger. Uh, let's see. Just set her down here. One thing I'm curious about is the weight. It's not terribly heavy, but. Oh, why has everything got to be in French? for a weight here. Why is there no weight on the package? Cal causes cancer in California, of course. Uh, made in Vietnam. Interesting. Absolutely no weight on this box. Isn't that a bit bizarre? Uh. Let's see if there's anything in the instructions here. Probably not. All right, let's get that. Let's get it. Well, here, let's try this battery. This one's still got four bars. This is a four amp hour here. Okay. First of all, let's take the uh, protector off here. in there. Locked in place. Got a nice little hand guard. So if you're in like rose bushes or prickly bushes you don't get whacked. There you go. Let's see. So yeah the blades just scissor against each other. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go out to the side of the house where there's a hedge that needs trimming and I'll set the camera up there and we'll we'll have a look see. See how she works. Okay, so just hold on a second here. Alrighty, let's give her a try here.
much better. Much easier than using manual trimmers. Alrighty, well that's easy, quick, Oop. looks pretty good, just set this down. There we go. Back here in the garage, got this on. One thing I forgot to put on while I was out there was this hedge sweep. Probably would have worked well for batting the cut branches out of the way, but I'll learn to use it next time. Just slides right on there. Could be handy, I don't know. I can't really give an opinion. I did, the instruction manual did say to oil the blades before each use. I used some three-in-one oil. Um, I was reading online, and one of the best things to use is sewing machine oil, apparently. Don't know, that's what I read. So I'll, I'll have to get some of that and try it out. Three-in-one oil is good too, though. Um, yeah, that's about it. Works good. Made short work of that hedge. Normally that takes me about a half hour to cut, and that took me about five minutes and did a much better job than I would have done by hand. Um, it did have no problem cutting three-quarter inch branches quite easily. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's a pretty simple tool. Pretty simple to use. I didn't bother using the uh, turning it on its side or anything. I suppose I could have. Might have been handy. Just didn't, didn't really feel the need. Um, lengthwise, it's perfect for me. They sell longer hedge clippers, but this is about as long as I need for what I'm doing. Um, that's it. So far, out of you know the few minutes use I got of it, I give it uh, I don't know two thumbs up, two thumbs and a finger. How about that? It's pretty good. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. So take care and I'll see you later.